Welcome back to Squawk Box, everybody. I'm Becky Quick, and I'm in Los Angeles, where I've been speaking with Charlie Munger, who held court yesterday. He talked to shareholders here at the Daily Journal annual meeting about just about everything under the sun. We got to talk to him afterwards and talk to him about some current events that have been happening. Uh, just this week, the national debt clock passed $22 trillion. That did not escape the notice of Charlie Munger. And you worry about the eventualities of a growing national debt? Well, I don't worry much because I regard it as a sense that a great nation will in due time be ruined. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it's, I, so it's just a question of time and, you know, where is Rome, where is Britain in its heyday? They all pass. And so our turn is bound to come someday, but I don't like thinking about it too much. It's like my own death. Why should I enjoy thinking about it? But is it coming someday? Sure, of course it is. But you, you have no guess as to when. No, no. Early. There are a lot of things that Munger is much more optimistic about. One of them is what business leaders in corporate America are doing right now. Charlie Munger has been a fan of Jeff Bezos for a long time. In fact, last year at this annual meeting, he called him ferociously smart, but obviously a lot has happened in a year. Bezos is on the front page of newspapers almost daily for news not only about Amazon, but also about his personal life. I asked Munger if the political landscape will be more difficult for Bezos and the company from here. There are some movements in Washington that push back against him, whether it's because he's the owner of the Washington Post or whether it's just uh, one company getting too big and, and regulators worrying about that. My guess is he still has a long ways to go up. You're a lawyer, too. Was. He, well, once a lawyer, always a lawyer, correct? Not really. That's a long time ago. What do you think about his move that he's made recently with the, the owner of the National Enquirer to say, look, he just came out and said, they're blackmailing me. They're extorting me. Well, I, I admire people who simply confront problems head on. And so I, I, I'm, I, I have no quarrel with he's confronting the National Enquirer, but I regard it as a little nothing place that the world would be, uh, could well do without. And so, and to the extent they behave badly, and he's objecting vigorously, I'm all for it. 